welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all keeping safe and staying safe as uh, this pandemic seems to continue anyway I often get asked um, you know what do I cook in the van and how do I cook it um, because it's a, such a small space so one of my favorite meals is uh, a gelfrezi a curry which uh, I love to make so tonight or today or whatever part of the day you're at I'm going to do a video on how I prepare and uh, make uh, a gelfrezi curry I hope you enjoy it and you might even take on board the sort of recipe that I use and make one yourself. So tonight we shall be making chickpea curry. Now, because I'm restricted with ingredients due to the current crisis, I shall be doing my version, uh, which is a sort of gelfrezi type curry. Um, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making it. First and foremost, I need some tomatoes, which will be chopped some onions ah, which I don't have always a good start I think I've got in here somewhere some onions that's always good as always we start with olive oil and this is um, extra virgin oil but frankly not a problem to me. So I'm going to throw a load of that in the pan and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the onions in. The tomatoes for later so those can go out of the way. So all the onions can go in there. That, that's them used up. That can go in the bin later. And up here I have my little pots of so I'm going to throw some more onions in there and to make the curry mix I have all my little lineup of different spices up here so first of all a bit of turmeric mm, not too much of that I'm not so sure about the taste of it as you can see my measurements are very accurate um, cinnamon oh, yeah that smells nice that in. Oops. Never know what this is going to come out like. It's always an interesting flavour. Chilli, which are chilli flakes and normal chilli powder. So throw a bit of that in. Oh! I always put too much chilli in and I live to regret it. Ginger, throw a bit of ginger in. Uh, Coriander, uh, coriander seeds. Now I don't have a pestle and mortar, so I get the flavour, and then what I do is I tend to pick them out at the end. Oh, garlic! Did I put garlic in? I don't think I did. I think I did. No, I didn't. So a bit of garlic. Love my garlic. Onion we've got. Now I always put a bit of fennel in, and the reason. Oh, God, it smells good. Interesting one. I don't know if you use fennel, but it's an interesting flavour. It's the, the perno flavour. So, you know, you put a bit of that in, and it just gives it something a little bit different, which is ever so nice. I've also got some stock cues up there, which I'll probably put in later. And that's pretty much it. Now, what I'll do here, and I'll turn the pan on. And normally you'll be doing this for, well, I don't know, it's about eight minutes because you'll be breaking down the uh, the onions you know cooking the onions right down but because I've got no onions um, it's really just a matter of heating up so you've got the basically the base to go around the chickpeas I hope 
hope I'm recording. Am I recording? I'm recording. That's always good. Just checking I'm recording. Because I did this last week and I didn't press record. So none of us are perfect. Okay, next ingredient. Chickpeas. Grau de Pico in Portuguese. I've still got these from Portugal. And uh, I could use uh, tin tomatoes. Polpa de Pomodoro. Again, Portuguese. But I'm going to use the fresh tomatoes chopped. I just find that so much nicer. And then I can always add a bit of water or a bit of, uh, like I say, stock, which is always good. So, get my curry coloured spatula. starting to smell really good and this is just just basically just how simple this is I'm going to drain these uh, chickpeas off a bit and the reason I'm chewing chickpeas is because as you probably noticed at this time <laughs> during the crisis um, I've pretty much been staying away from the supermarkets and self-isolating. Oops, getting a bit smoky. Better open the window. <coughs> yeah. uh, I did get smoky. Um, I'm staying away from the superstores and stores because I simply just feel more comfortable isolating here on my own. Um, I don't feel I've not, I'm, I'm fine, so... Like I'm not going to give it to anybody, but I don't want anybody to give it to me, so there you go. Um, and uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, so there's a lack of chicken and eggs and stuff like that, so chickpeas are a fantastic uh, alternative. In fact, thing is with van life cooking for me is very often I cook enough for two people, which Seeing as I'm on my own, it usually means I'm going to be having chickpea curry tonight and tomorrow night I'll probably be having chickpea curry. Oh, I don't mind. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm not a vege vegetarian. And I've got no problem with eating meat. Although, I do have a limit. I won't eat tiger lion and things like that. I tend to eat meats that uh, are vegetarians. Is that a sort of vegetarian but not a vegetarian? But then I thought that and then somebody said to me well do you eat bacon and I went yeah and they said well pigs eat anything so you can't really just be only eating animals that only eat vegetables. So quite close. But for all you vegans out there I don't think uh, there's anything I've put in here that uh, would offend you. I don't know. If it would, put it in the comments and then I know I shall learn. So that's that pretty much going. I'm going to chop the tomatoes, chuck them in. I'm going to turn that down. And as you can see, that I don't do this very often. Not put the rice on yet. Another thing I'm still doing, I'm still using bottled water, but I shall run out soon. And, uh, the tap water, although I've got a 100 litre water tank in the van, I'm still not, you know, absolutely okay with drinking it out of the tap because you don't know what water, what it sort of, uh, you know, has been connected to the hose or where the hose has been before. You know, you push it into the into the tank. So, yeah, I'd like to get a water filter uh, for this, um, but it's it's not absolute necessity at the moment. So I've got a smaller pan in here somewhere. Oh, 
which I have. And into that smaller pan. For me, nice. I don't tend to rinse the rice, so I'm thinking some of you aficionados do. But I don't mind a bit of starch. One, two, three, four. That's about enough. Throw a bit of Himalayan salt in it. Put the pan on. Oops, put some water in it first to be good out here. There we go. Give that a quick stir and then add a bit of discoloration. There's a the chickpea curry. I don't can, think you can. Can you see? Without the uh, tomatoes in yet, I'm going to put those in in a minute. ceramics are far better. These lose the sharpness just like any other knife quite quickly. So I'm not being overly impressed with it. Um, like the bit at the top. So that can go. And pretty much these tomatoes are just top up, can you see? Well you can see. There you go. Tomatoes just get chopped up as they are, doesn't matter how they go in. Throw those in. Tomatoes, can you see? Yep. There we go. Another one of these in. And it makes the curry quite dry because I'm not using too much um, uh, liquid, i.e., as in, you know, like um, tin tomatoes. Um, but if I find it's a bit too dry, just throw some extra, throw some water in it. And as somebody said to me a while back, Bev, if you're listening, um, there's no point trying to be too accurate with your ingredients because no curry ever tastes the change the same anyway. Again, if uh, you disagree with that, in the comments below. So some more tomatoes in there. And then leave that to go. Oh, this smells great. Whoa, that's good. Ready for that. Great for the system. Chili and garlic. Onions. It'd be good if I had a few more fresh ingredients. But you just pretty much use what I have at hand, uh, you know. If I had some mushrooms or whatever, I'd just chuck them in, I mean. I don't think there's any law against putting your different ingredients in, is there? Anyway, that's that. I shall leave that to simmer for 20 minutes while the rice cooks. And at the end of that, we shall serve it out and we'll see how it looks. So I shall see you in a short while. So that is done. So we're now ready to serve out. So one plate. Now we did put a little bit of water in the uh, curry because it was quite dry. Um, so the rice has boiled off little bit of discoloration but that's because I use the same spoon but hey ho so I'll pop that in there now I'm terrible for my salt so I should I'll be putting some salt on it and around it I always leave a little gap like so Curry 
is now doing it and lovely. All done. on there with the chickpeas and the carrots, a bit of extra, ah, yes, right, so, cheers, and delicious, <laughs> thank you for watching, I'll speak to you later, bye. Hi, my name's Howard and welcome to my channel. I'm a 50 plus bloke that lives full time in the Fiat Ducato Globe Scout camper van. And I'm ready to share my adventures and travels with you here on YouTube. Each week I create and upload videos that I like to think will inspire you and motivate you to get off your butt and do something with your life. Or if not, run for the hills in sheer panic. Either way, I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. So if you value fun life and adventure, then subscribe to my channel below. And be sure to hit the notification button so you're the first to know when I upload a new video.